Is that speed? Huh? Cutscene. Oh! Get away, you must! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Vishak? What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's um, Mutt? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Well, you know, butcher's body, butcher's dog. Uh, he's protecting the, his master. Nice eyes, by the way. Oh, those are mine. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Me? Well, I'm here to bury my parents. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Oh, you're you're a great guy. Wait, what happened to Teresa? Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Well, hey, could you lend me that spade, by the way? Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? Ah, uh, uh, you know. Ooh, he has a lot more strength than I do. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, Henry is me, so uh, it's for Sir Radvik. My father forged it for Sir Radvik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. Wow, I'm drunk. <laughs> it's not. You can see how I move it. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Hey. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. If I just disturb your looting, by the way. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of coin. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Get back here! I need that! Uh, I'm so slow. Get back here! Alright. I'll come back for this stuff. Hey, where's my inventory? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Beliciousness. We are chasing after him. Uh, ambiguous noise. I think these are actually just better. So, let's equip to you. Drop these old boots. One, 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 one. Okay, these are far less noisy. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop you. And drop you. And, what am I comparing this to? No? Okay. Uh, two, three, six, one, one, one. All right. Charisma better. Charisma better. Okay. Drop you. 77. Foot wraps are the only thing I'm wearing right now. Nope. Drop it. And just take this stupid thing off. There we go. There we go. Get back here. I'll go back for those, I'm sure. I've got business to take care of here first. But he God, how I wish to be gone from this place. First, I must bury my okay, apparently he dropped it on the ground. Do do do. Welcome. Come back to me, my pathetic items. Makes need to make some money after this. Put all my speech skills to use. So I'm invest a little bit more in those than I should. Thank you, Discord. All right. I don't think I looted you because you had a cutscene. Nothing in here. Hi, boy. Oh, you look. You just stuck it in the ground. Hi. Hey. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Easy there, boy. You know me. You 
good master won't be needing this anymore. Okay. Just Wow, he gets salami, salt. Okay. Alright. Good boy. Just stay back there. I like animals. I like animals biting me even more. Okay, that was a that was a that was lag that got me there. Okay. I don't like this game's lag as much. <gasps> it's a tavern. Oh. Oh, I gotta go in here and check real quick. Okay, checking the bodies, making sure. Wait, wait, Bianca's ring. <gasps> Not you. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. <sighs> I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. And we even have Bianca's ring that we gave her. I'll hold on to it for my mental sake. And another one of the snaps. Goodbye, my dearest. Okay. God. I don't, I don't think we could have gone down and saved her, considering just everybody else that was around her, too. Ugh. Dude, towards this place. Can I equip that ring? <coughs> Excuse me. Inventory. Armor. I can, I can wear it. Gives me pretty nice charisma, so yeah, let's, let's wear it. Only thing it does is affect my noise, really? Not my charisma? Charisma's at 5. Huh. Yeah, charisma of 11. A little bit more noise. I guess I could noise, like the ring would scrape against things, but for now, we'll wear it. Ah. <sighs> I'm surprised we're not actually going to go bury her either, but. Man. We're just slowly taking things we had. Okay, I don't know if I could actually just pick up the bodies here. I don't want to loot the bodies. Do I need to. Oh, I need to go up there and bury them, then come back down. Got it. Hopefully, you guys can't hear that, but next door. My next door, right? But, uh, next door where they have a, uh, landline. And I don't know why they, people still have it in this day and age, but it's not going to go away anytime soon. So I apologize if you can hear that. If you can't, well, I'll hopefully remember to edit this part out. I'm going to forget. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's go over here. God, we're, I am so greedy. It's taking me forever to one, one, go from one place to another. If I get ambushed again, pff, uh... Yeah. This is a good place. You're gonna like it here. Start digging. <sighs> nice tree, though. Hi, dog. I got meat on me. Not my bones. I'm saying I got like sausage on me. So. Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you 
You need some help? Son of a... Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> Ugh. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt. Aye. Cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Oh crap. I actually have to fight. Um Inventory. Um items. Armor. Hey, one second, buddy. Oh, are you kidding me? I gotta drop these. Um I'm just gonna drop you. Drop I'm just like throwing my like my loot bag over my shoulder, like just toward this guy right now. Um, I have a shield on, torch, ash bow. That's actually worth quite a bit. Um, take my torch. I have a torch I'll hold on to. Food. Um, yeah, I'm just going to toss the apples. Toss the... And I can use it in combat. If I can't just throw it at them. And the bread roll, I'm going to drop as well. God, I wish I drank some of that potion. Snaps. I can't use that right now. Okay, one. No, don't put it away. Uh. One hit! One hit! Oh, there's a cutscene for it. I see. I see. I was rigged. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go suckers! Who? <laughs> the games are over. <sighs> Thank you. I parted. No, get him. What? Oh, Deep Silver presents. Or her studio productions. Henry, played by Tom McCain. Oh, just let the music roll. Oh, that was Teresa, because we saved her.
Okay, I'm just gonna. Hi. Hello. I think they're this way. Okay. Blood. Blood. More blood. Fire. Over here. I'm coming. Oh, okay, I see. No! Oh. Okay, I deserve a fast point travel in my dreams. Do you need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Yeah, I died. How'd it happen? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I just have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Okay, Uncle, okay. I've already had a pretty good design, so we'll be seeing it for a while. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalit after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. You slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Thank you. A few delirious days later. And I threw all my like extra loot off for absolutely no reason. You're awake. I'm salty, but awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me, by the way? That cutscene was really impressive, but... How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Hmm. What in the world were you doing in Scalit? Waiting to die. <gasps> what? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Ravdik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I'm also the main character, so it does help that, you know. Just saying. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Thank you. <laughs> and even later. I've discovered the mill after actually waking up for a little bit. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? 
Uh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. <coughs> you can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. <sighs> All right. I've been lying around long enough, haven't I? I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. What? I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. You insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe. Two weeks. Me. I've been lying here two ah. weeks. I don't know old, old speech. A fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. <sighs> well, I well, I, I do owe you my life. Thank you for that. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Thank you. And my pants. Have you seen my pants? This is my new home. I can sleep here whenever I want. And you have your... Hi. Hey, youngster. Come here. Hunters of Strunk will be available to you and your home will return to the lodge. Hi. I can't talk. A word with you, young fellow. Mm, okay. This is going to get awkward. Hi. Hi, I'm Henry. Thank you for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool could do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money for. What do you say? Hey, I'm, I'm pretty smart. Um, sure. What can I do for you? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. Wow. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say the right moral disposition do corpses bother you no honorable man should touch them that's the executioner's job did you expect i'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields you could dig all right but somewhere else i want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work well <clears throat> so i just wait for it okay tell me more prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Watson Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Mm. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a cord, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? <laughs> okay, sure. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. What's your mouth for here? There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. 
If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make me dig better. Thanks. Thank you. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his really? hands. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Really? Hey, I got some snaps so I can actually save. Okay. Well, this is going to be great. Let's get a spade. I'd take that with me if I could. Um, my lady. Eat from the pots because I'm actually really hungry at the moment. There we go. Now I'm fully healed. Here's my box. I can stuff stuff in. Hi. Uh, okay. Oh, these are, these are all, all my things. So let's just take all. Am I overweight? Yep. You know, Reed is, very, is a very rare skill in the Middle Ages and common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't, wouldn't have been literate. You can open a book and try to make sense of the glyphs, but in the end, you'll have to find someone who can teach you at least about books and re basis reading. Who knows? Perhaps reading will turn be out valuable. Yes. All right, so let's just put these things in here. How much does they weigh? 0.1, and they're worth 100 each. I can sell them for 500, but it'd be interesting down the road. I want to see if I can sell these things, too. As for the inventory, let's equip anything on us that will increase our charisma, because I want to go shopping. So, armor. Now, this ring. That's charisma. Okay. So, I just hover over it. Anything on it that has blue for charisma, I'll wear. Or it just won't affect the charisma. That's good. Warhorse gear. Grab son. WH is sort of threatened and to stretch its owner's social status. Um... Hmm, that's something. I don't know where I, where I picked that up. There we go in there. So weapons, I got, well, a shield. Technically not stolen anymore, and a torch if I want to hit somebody in the face. Yeah, let's not equip that right now. Alright. We can't run. Lantern stuff. Okay. I learned my chronicles. I've learned a lot of stuff in this game. Alright, I have an icon up there. What's this for? Oh, because you... Can I borrow your hatchet? No. Okay. Hey, where's that shovel, by the way? Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Got it. Uh, you, can you teach me to pick locks? I kind of stink at him. Try unlocking. What is that noise? That is super loud. Okay. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism at the right moment. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock with the pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade. But don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked, and you'll have to start all over again. Okay, so I want to go where the golden is, right? There. Here. Uh, why can't I rotate it? I'm hitting D. Oh, I see. Ow! Oh! oh. Oh, you're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. The real locks, you have to watch out for the pick. Try it a few more times if you like. Thank you. Good luck with the little bit. I see, so I have to keep it in. S okay, I, t I have to try it out and keep it inside that metal part. Got it. That's really good to know. Otherwise, I was never actually going to figure this out. Good to know. Let's try to find Teresa before we go talk to her. See if she needs anything from us. Alright, there's our shovel. Watch out for the executioner. Got her spade. The spade. Let's go here, walk around, so we can find... Hi! I, just, I really just want to run, run around with that, just saying. Not the pot. Talk to her. There we go. 
Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hey, that's it? Just... Okay, I'll be back. I could wash myself if I wanted. Wish you can't have trowel. Alright. Whole new world for us to explore. Dead man's ring from the, from the miller. The ring. An activity giver. Let's go into town real quick and see if we can sell some of our stuff. So I need to go that way. Got it. So if I can make some coin off of my ill-gotten loot. I need to up my strength by quite a quite a lot if I want to sell anything. Mm -hmm. Especially if I need to run out over outrun the dogs or anything. I do have a lot of meat. What's my nourishment? 53? Okay. Well, how's my food? Wine, snaps. Burn away all physical and spiritual woes. Salami for the dogs. Pretzel for me. Make sure I eat these as they kind of start going bad. Freshness, 100, 180. Love our cheese. Love our cheese. Nourishment, 79. 100. Ooh. Okay. 90. 98. Cabbage. 120 is our nourishment. I am... Yeah, I am full. So, we'll hold off for a little bit. Yeah, having to constantly think about food is... Well... Kind of perplexing to me. I really have never really had to think about it too much, but it's nice to have around. So I don't have any of my armor on. Well, what little passes as armor? Let's see if I can sell it to anybody. Lockpick easy. No, I'd rather not break into my neighbors. Can't run away fast enough. I can't actually run at all. <sighs> That's gonna be a long journey. Be back in a second, guys. And Rin. Wait, what? Hi? Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Voyitz. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Um. Let's go with charisma. I mean, my, my, my prestige is pretty nice. Seven? Um, come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. I got to stop you. The bugger off. Uh, can I tell you about what happened to the sword? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword he commissioned. There we go. Then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzig isn't pleased. Well, I mean, your skin for him loading in. Thank you for letting me practice speech. I discovered the camp. All right, well, let's see if we can find a smithy while I'm here. What is that? Oh, that's home. Got it. Barnes' wife. Sprouting legs and running Burn in. And how are we supposed to live in the meantime? On dirt and air. I hear smithy. That means a shop. There's a grindstone. Let me repair my goods. In a private area. No! Sorry. <clears throat> that was the front door. Let's go. Yeah, let's go around. Slowly go around. Yeah, I need to upgrade my strength. Aha! That's the sign we're looking for. There's the weaponsmith. Gotta go back here real quick. Axe I can't take. On... Equipped things. Hey! Wait. Oh, I can't. I have nothing I can fix. Oh, right. I lost my sword. Ugh, that's the artisan. Ugh. Good day to you. Nope. You got nothing for me. I was hoping he got to teach me something if he could. All right. To the weapon shop. I definitely need to get equipment for it. I saw nothing. I saw many things. Here's the shop guard. Interesting. 
You're the shopkeeper. Let's just talk. Talk. There we go. Hi, right, buddy. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. Would you buy my goods? Um, let's talk trade. Ooh, the assassin, a long blade. These are all named blades. I'm in trouble. Herald sword, that's a named one. Uh, minimum strength of 10 to equip this. Wow. Okay, they... Mercenary. Some of these actually require... Oh, it's a short sword, so it requires agility. Hunting sword for minimum agility of 10. 5. Battle axe of 14. 6 for a mace. Pages sword. Agility of 7. Okay, what can I take? Was my sword just really good? Alright, there's the assassin I can equip for 2 for my strength. My, my ability is pretty low, so let's see. Anything else here? Uh, let me repair stuff. 10, 5, 8. Yeah, my strength is pretty much, I think, just 2 or 3. So it won't let me... Oh, the dagger if I want to assassinate somebody in the back. Not quite my style. I know my weakness. I know I'm not, you know, smart enough to really do the whole stabby thing. Yeah, maybe strength of three. So, yeah, the assassin. Really good for stabbing, so I'll, I want to use thrusting attacks with it. Sure, I'll add that to the basket. And I will sell you a torch or a shield. Well, wow! <laughs> yeah. Blows will dole the blade, so attack is the best form of defense. Uh, I can't even uh, equip a normal sword for a while. How much money do I have? 41 coins. There's no way he's going to haggle that down. Okay. Just, let's just remove that, and we'll come back once we have a bit more money on us. Yeah, I'm not going to steal it. Ugh. Well, there's a traitor. You sell... Buy food and various widgets? Sure. God be with you. Alright. Alright, let's talk trade. Alright, so I got everything moved around here. We got all our stuff back here. I did find out that he had an axe on him. I just bought it off of him because it's all I can really grab. I need to do slash. Any kind of stabbing damage with this thing is not going to work at all. So, a traditional tool that can also be used for combat. Greater to Compared to a sword, the axe has greater impact and thus suited to the dealing with heavily, heavily armored opponents. But it's heavier and therefore slower, and above all, doesn't give much cover. Especially if the axe was originally intended for work and doesn't have a metal plated handle. So, just be careful. Alright. We have some money. I can't afford anything in there yet for a while. So, let's head on down and try to make some money for our, um... What do I want to say? Friend? Um... Uncle? Kind uncle? Yeah, we're gonna head down here and try to help out the, um, well, go get the body. Maybe I could talk to them, try to see if that'll work out better than, you know, sneaking back around. Try both ways. Just don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. Go! Okay, red rocks. Alright. There you go. I'm used to Skyrim, where, you know, a two-foot drop would kill you. I mean, all those arrows you take your knees over the years are going to make your legs pretty, you know, bad. Alright. Hello, axe-wielding lady. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hi. Hi. Would you mind if I just, you know... Hello? I'm here to talk to somebody. Um, what those are. are? Those cows? Hogs? Dogs? Looks like hogs. You're a dog and I'm gonna get killed. Alright. Let's so back up this way a little bit more. Back. Nobody knows me? Alright. Running a little bit. Is it behind here I need to go? Okay. Buy stuff. There has to be an interaction for everything in this game, doesn't it? 
I'm, and that's not salt. I'm actually genuinely pleased that there is. Okay. Slowly over this hill. There we go. Alright, I got decent charisma. I'm trying to do this in a manner worth talking to. It is a pig. What the hell is um, I'm not a private area. So. Hi. Hi. Talk to me. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Try to get him out of the house. Sure. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Thank you. Good luck to you, sir. Hey, who's there? Yep. Oh, have fun. Where'd that dog go? Okay. It is time to go. I go over this. Get out of the house. Whoa, hey boy, come on. I just need to get over this. It's literally behind the house. Shh, quiet boy. Wait, it might be actually inside the house. That's what they were talking about. Oh my, there are so many stinking dogs here. Food, okay. Salami, just drop that on the ground. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy the meat. Salami. Food. 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 Food right there. Meat. They said drop the meat. Okay. Stupid smart dogs. Okay, I'm just gonna... No! No! Oh, I'm glad. Okay, okay, okay. So it's behind the house. I need to go to. Well, at least he's gonna be gone. Alright. I do need to be running to more areas so I can upgrade upgrade my strength. Oh my gosh. It's this whole area. Oh. Oh, right here. Okay. It's actually going down. That is simple touch, but I like it. Christ, nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, the stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. So, the executioner got it. That's probably why I needed to, needed to lure him away. Okay. Hey, another shovel. I'd really rather not murder the dogs, however. Hi, boy. Just calm down. And don't let this... Okay, here, 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 here. Meat. Okay, I'm just going to drop the meat. I will drop one meat. Enjoy your meal. Meat. 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 Hey, boy. Shh, shh, shh. Calm. Calm. I'll just give you... Okay, that's not gonna work. Come on! Oh, I hate you guys so much. This is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. Really? I just harvested dog. Do, 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 Okay. Let's just put that away. Wow, that's... Take all dog meat. Don't ask where it came from. Take my dried meat off the ground. Just, you know, five second rule. Okay. Now we go into the back of the house. I'm a terrible human being. Okay. All right. So it has to go. Is 
this way? Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how this is how exactly how exactly this works. I don't have any lockpicks, and I can't just smash it open, can I? Oh, there's a dog. Can't take you. Is it somewhere in his house? Man, if he comes back, I'm gonna be. It. Oh my gosh! Can I just? Do I literally have to pick lock, like, just smash everything? Okay, come on, get out, get out. Hit, hit! I can't break, break down doors. That is so dumb. I can only pick lock? Really? Come on, game. Well, this guy's gonna make me pay for it. Harvesting pig? Come here. Here, pig. Oh my gosh. There we go. <sighs> okay. This poor guy. What do you ever do to me? No, no. Do not know. Did I harvest you too? I'm about to. One, two, three. One, two, three. At the beginning of like, every game you play... Just beat everybody. Come on, pig. Wow. You didn't do a little hunting. Uh. What happened while I was gone? Bandits? Well, now I have a lot to sell, but uh, we'll be making our way back to the farmer in a second, so. God, me a long walk. Can I fast travel? Yes. I'm too overloaded to fast travel. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Wait, where's the other A? The other A is... Okay, yeah, so I do have to go back this way. But I also want to go over here so I can sell this stuff off. <sighs> Alright. Well, this one's been going on for quite a while, so... Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next one as I make my slow, bloody way back from the pillaging farm. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, guys.